What's going on, YouTube? What's going on? What's going on? It is your boy, Aaron Wiles Out TV, coming to you guys with another video. First of all, you guys, um, I've been missing an action. I've been missing an action. I'm trying to get my, sh you know, stuff in order. Um, but I'm glad that um, I took all the time I needed and came back really refresh and really energized so before we get into this video you guys i want y'all to please like comment and subscribe to my channel amber wiles out tv please um follow all of my social medias okay and if y'all want to support my channel please you can definitely do it by liking this video but you also can tap um by way of cash app super chat super thanks um, and all that, okay, all that, all right, um, all right, let's get into it, let me, let me not prolong this video, okay, so we're here to talk about two female, two phenomenal female rappers, okay, that is, let me, matter of fact, let me pull them up right now, Give me one second, you guys. Give me one second. <clears throat> Make sure I get them. Give me one second, you guys. Mm. Let me find this lady right here. Okay, we're going to find this lady. Okay. I thought this was going to, like... Mm, I don't like this picture, y'all. Give me one second, because I don't really like this picture. Because honestly, I thought because I put it in PNG, I thought it was just gonna be her image and not this um, transparent image. But I guess it don't do that. So we're gonna pick another image or whatever. Um, hmm. We're just gonna do this. How about that one? Let's do that. Cause. Is we could do that? Okay. Um yeah. We can cancel that out. And um mm, we can do this picture. How about this picture? Is it that picture? Yes. It could we could do that picture. How about that one? Okay, we could we gotta have Nikki here. Let's put Nikki right here on this side. And um let's have Megan on this side. Okay. And Let's have Megan on this side. How about that one? Oh, now I get that. Okay. Period. Now she's right. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. I like that. Okay. There we go. So even though I don't got her with her own picture, we, it's, it's, we're going to do it up. Okay. So we got both of these ladies here. Let me start off by saying um I'm an I'm a very unbiased uh re, uh what can I say? I'm a very unbiased content creator. I'm not a fit I'm not more fan of either one of them. Um I do like Megan's music. I do love Nicki Minaj music. Now, out of of the two, who music I prefer the most is definitely going to have to be Nicki. 
It definitely has to be Nikki, hands down. Um, Pink Friday 2 was a blast. Had fun with it. Gag City, yes, ma'am. I would love to more. Um, okay. Who has um, the songs that I prefer that I constantly have in rotation? Definitely Nicki Minaj. So, I want the fans in these stands to not be so gung-ho to argue because these because reviewers or content creators are not in favor of your of your girl of your queen or anything like i'm not here to bash anybody okay i want that to be said i'm not here to bash neither party okay everyone is gonna get it this is fair game right here I'm not here to bash Nicki Minaj, and I'm definitely not here to bash Megan. First of all, she has been bashed enough. Let's keep it real. Both of these girls have been bashed enough. So that's the that's the stance that I'm taking right now. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna do it because we all have saw what has transpired since the release of Megan's his single okay once Megan sent out her his everything you knew everything that we knew was going to go up in flames and the girls we're not able is it's definitely not going to be able to take and no shade Nicki Minaj I'm very surprised at you I'm very surprised at you um for how you're doing this whole you're doing this whole uh ranting and raving about this lady okay so, but let me back up. So, everybody has been speculating about this beef, okay? Both of these ladies have been taking shots at each other on their music. Both of them, okay? We're not going to single out one than the other. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, okay? They both had been taking shots at each other in their music, okay? We can pull up receipts all day, but it's in the music, okay? We're not going to be stupid here. They both, okay? So, let me just kick it funky like this. Let me just tell y'all, I love it. I love the rap beef. Rap beef is very competitive. It's exciting. We, I really want to know what the other one is going to say. Okay, Megan already got her shit off. I'm ready for Bigfoot. And let me just say this. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. I am excited for a rap beef. Because the last rap beef, the last outstanding rap beef that I know of with Nikki is with Remy Ma. Now, people do not ever want to give Remy Ma her props because they feel like Remy Ma, she third her own career. I don't feel that way. But the masses, it's, it's, it's according to the masses' opinion. Majority think that Remy she third her own career by even going after Nikki, where people feel like she shouldn't even go at Nikki. A lot of people, even Fat Joe, felt like Remy shouldn't even go at Nikki. But hey, if a bitch buzz at my door and start knock, knock, knocking at my door and saying that she wants it, oh, I'm sorry. Hi, how are you? Not, oh, we're going to open that door and I'm going to spray you some. You're going to get all this work. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drag you by your lace, 
bop, 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 two times in the throat. What's up? Like, I'm ready for all that action. Like, who want it? On my soul. On my soul. Who want it? I'm on it. Real Brooklyn over here. Okay? Ain't no shade. Nikki has that type of power. She literally, if she really don't like a girl, I'm sorry, you get all her work. You get all these indirect shots at you. Because honestly, you really, like a lot of people really cannot tell. Um, A lot of people like, who the freak is she taking shots at? Because Nikki has always been so indirect. But people definitely has been speculating, have, sorry, have been speculating about this beef. Okay? And baby... Nikki has been taking her shots. Meg has been taking her little light shots. But it wasn't until Megan went, I think she went on live to basically state that the girls that have been looking for her, the the the, the B words and the the ninjas that have been that have been trying her, that have been speaking out about her, been tap tap tapping at her door. Oh, she's gonna answer it. She's going to, y'all going to get all this work from Megan. Megan ain't no punk. First of all, Megan has been dragged. Okay. Has been, um, has been dragged, dragged through the mud. Okay. Friends, exes. Okay. Once collaborators. Okay. People in the industry that she respects have dragged her she is tired of every one of you hoes she made it she made it no this album she's standing on business and y'all gonna y'all going to hear every every punchline every um rebuttal um every cadence or whatever the rhyme schemes Y'all gonna hear every bit of it. Okay? And y'all will be angry. And y'all will want to shoot back. And you know what? Shout out, first of all, shout out to my sister for telling me that, um, because a lot of people, um, a lot of people don't, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Megan is definitely independent. And she has a backing from rock nation but rock nation is a pr firm i did not know that crazy right i did not know that rock nation was actually a pr firm until my sister told me i always thought that rock nation was a a, a, like a record label i didn't know that um but yeah that's a little tidbit i just didn't know so um yeah (laughs) but um so this just came this i was waiting for this once Megan went live and said what she said, and everybody heard it, even my girl Nicki Minaj, and Nicki knew for a fact that she was going to knock on that girl's door, even, like, she don't care who's over there at Megan's house, everybody was going to get these shots, like, what's up? Okay, cool, no problem. So, y'all, I was excited for this beef. I was excited for this rap beef. Rap beef is everything. It's exciting. I want to hear it. I want it to be um, a an event, a sickening event between two raptress who are equally skilled, you know, to the public, one more than the other, because people pr- probably prefer Nikki over Megan or P- or some Megan over Nikki because some feel like you know uh even Nikki says it that they feel that um uh Megan uh she you know she uh she don't rap on beat she's she's actually rushing her bars you know she's she's rushing it like she she's in front of the beat like you need to be on it not in front of it um they do the same thing to Remy Chow but anyway, that's besides the point. So then we get to his. 
Now, we all know, well, by this time, and if you don't, some are speculating that the diss is, is definitely towards Nicki Minaj, but several others, like Drake, okay? Some even said, some even said uh, Rihanna, which I'm still trying to get that tea. Like, what did uh, Rihanna do to Megan? I, I didn't understand that. But, um, okay, that's no problem. Um, uh, who else? Carl Crawford and I don't know, a slew of other people. But mainly, you know, Nikki, Drake, uh, Tori, even probably Kelsey or in her exes. Okay, cool. I'm here for it. Let's get it going. You said that you're literally going to come for everybody that was knocking at your door, Megan. Let's get it crunk, okay, on my soul. So, we hear, we hear his. First of all, his, live for it. Live for it. First of all, the main line that had the girl shooketh and spiraling, doing numerous lives, numerous station heads constantly tweeting on Twitter and several social medias. Baby. Baby, 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 baby. The girls was over it. Nikki Minaj. First of all, Nikki Minaj. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. First of all, I have first, I want to say this. I have never seen Nicki pick up on something so quickly and start bussing and even adding the girls. She's out here adding the girls. She's going full throttle. Okay. Let's look at some of these, some of these things. Okay. Let me, let me, give me a second, Megan. Give me a second, Nikki. Let me pull up some of these daggone tweets that I found. Okay. Let's talk about that. Because baby, (laughs) let's, let's take a look at some of these tweets. Okay. So. Give me a second, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Sorry for that little bit of wait. I had to give me some. I had to give me a drink, okay? So this drink is gin and 
Simply Lemonade. All right. Sponsor. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I wish. Mm. Mm. Ooh. All right. Let's get into these sweets, child. All right. Let's get into these sweets. So there's one. So, first of all, let me bring my little ass down here, okay? So, Nicki Minaj. Oh, so, wait a minute. Oh, this is about, this is about something else. We got to go um, in. We got to go. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, <laughs> she said, I've been ready for two days. Just was trying to be cool and let her get her little streams. Wasn't going to say anything. But I remember how everyone kept my name in their mouths and how I said the next person mentioned my family going to regret it. By the way, they haven't even heard the song. Who said it was even a diss? Crying face emoji. Never even knew I had this much power. Don't charge. Don't charge. Wait, didn't charge her for hot girl summer verse that I recorded the night she begged. She begged and begged to go on my live. But it's okay. My ninja Pluto charge her 250k for his verse <laughs> oh, okay all right so she those those were the tweets okay cool no problem um oh and this one this is another one so girl Nikki is going full throttle with this. First of all, let me bring my bring my black behind over here. Okay. So she goes on. It said, this B word ain't get streamed in 84 years. Her team don't want me to drop because they know those numbers going to embarrass her lying lipo ASS. And she know I got proof of what she did. What did she do? Nikki Minaj. Now I feel like if she did something, put it in the music. And baby, if you really bout it, if you really bout it, you need to put it in the video. Put the receipts in the video. That's how you really gag the girls. No tea, no shade. Let listen, we're just being equal opportunists right now. This is an equal opportunity. She already did her video, Nick. I'm waiting for um Bigfoot to drop, okay? I'm waiting for that. I'm definitely going to react to it. Yes, y'all. Give me one second because I'm going to go back to it. Listen, first of all, I am sweating like crazy. I'm sweating like crazy. I don't know why, y'all. So do not, don't read me, child. And you know what's so crazy, y'all? I have literally my ignition is on right now. But I feel like I've been running. I've been running, 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 running. Mm-hmm. All right. So, listen, reactions coming soon for Megan's um his music video and Nicki Minaj's Bigfoot when it releases. Hopefully, she already shot the video. Or whenever she shoot the video, I will react to it. Trust and believe. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's get back to it, y'all. So, um, of what she did. So, I want to know what the heck she did. Okay, cool. And at the house, she allowed her best friend to be bullied, attacked, and ripped to shreds while Kelsey was pregnant with her first child. After she had... fooled oh after she had effed her best man's her her best friend's man sorry y'all you know i could be a little literate sometimes but listen after she had effed her best friend's man it wasn't enough 
But this is y'all girls. Girls, right? Any mother taking this woman's side may God strike you down. Don't want me to drop because she got to have a ghostwriting session for another week to get back to me. I had the song and beat for six years, not like hit Juju eat. <laughs> Nikki is chaotic. <laughs> Nikki is chaotic, but she's funny. She's funny. What a scary A B I T C H. Yikes. Um, hashtag Pink Friday 2 is platinum. Listen, Nikki, talk your stuff. Talk it. Talk it. But first of all, Nikki, no shade. So, let it be a clean fight. Why are you bringing other people involved? Why are you bringing Kelsey involved? Why are you bringing the mothers involved? Like, girl, you are not perfect yourself. You are not perfect. Just like how you think Megan is not perfect, Megan has her faults. Nikki, you have had your faults either. You have you have had your faults also. Y'all two are, y'all not perfect. It's okay. But I don't feel like you need to bring anybody else involved. That's in my opinion. But, I mean, it's it's a war. She already talked about your husband. So, at the end of the day, you you want your issue. I'm not mad at you, Nick. Do your thing. I'm with it. All right, let's go to another tweet. Okay. This one says, they said I was winning because I had no competition. Um, The long nose line emoji. Face. Now these B words, so weak. They want no competition. I've seen a lot of weak SHIT in my career, but never in my life seen a Bigfoot call B-I-T-C-H P-U-S-S-Y say they won't respond. Then tell her producer and management not to approve the beat all because she can't stand to have a real competition. This hoe is officially the weakest hole that I've ever seen thus far. Um, any B word that her her friend me is a jealous, insecure, bitter, funky butt cum rag. Okay. <laughs> she girl. I mean, Nikki, instead of putting it on social media, can you put it in the music? Okay, all right, all right, you know. But honestly. Nikki, I find it very hypocritical. I find it very hypocritical that you said on here that um um I've seen a lot of weak ish in my career, but never in my life seen a Bigfoot um you know whatever you call her say they won't respond and then tell her producer and management not to approve the beat. I mean, Nikki, if memory, if memory serves me correctly, didn't you do the same thing with Remy? I mean, tit for tat, sweetie. You did, didn't you call, didn't you reach out to Nas or whoever did um the sheet, the ether record, the ether B? Because Remy Ma literally took the ether B and May Sheether. All right, she used the ether beat. So, in around that time, Nikki, you was messing with Nas when you and Remy got into it. You were you were literally messing with Nas. Okay, or at least y'all was like in cahoots or dating or some stuff or of, of that nature. I don't know. I don't know the nature of y'all relationship, really, but I know that y'all was canoodling. So, and I remember that it was taking off all streaming platforms because it was once on streaming platforms and then it was taken off. Because I feel like somebody made a call or tapped the, tapped the dude 
in the bed next to you and told him, take that record off. She's not making no money off of this. I mean, no shade, Nick. You did the same thing to Rim. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't, um, Megan tell her producer or management not to clear the beat for your diss record towards Megan Thee Stallion? And first of all, you said in another tweet that the the record is not even out. How? You, why would you think it's a diss? I mean, girl, you literally called the record Bigfoot. You're literally talking about Megan the Stallion. Am I correct or am I stupid? Like, Nikki, the thing with I don't live about Nikki, and let me just get back to full screen. This is what I don't like about Nick. And I'm going to tell y'all what I don't like about Nick. Let me do this. And this is where I have to call her out. And I'm going to be fair because Nikki, you do a lot of goalpost movement. You like to move the goalposts a lot. Okay. You did it with Remy. You did it with you did it with you did it with Kim. You did it with Remy. You did it with Cardi. You did it with several other chicks. Okay? You like to move the goalposts in your favor. Okay? Because little Kim and Remy Ma was not as as big and don't have the the accolades of today. In their, in their, and they wasn't popping enough. They wasn't popping. They, their resume wasn't really popping enough to really go head to head with you. So what you did was you tried to make, you tried to put your plaques and your number ones and your top tens in their face because they have yet to do, they have yet to get those stats or of today. You feel me? Like, you had multiple plaques. You had multiple, like, you had money. You had businesses. They didn't They didn't really have that. So they really couldn't compete with you. But you used that. You used that goal to not respond to them or to, to sway in your favor, to sway the, to sway the, the battle in your favor. And you did that also with Cardi because because you couldn't use the plaque situation or the money or the number ones or the awards. You couldn't do that with Cardi. So what you do? Oh, you got to write. You got to do this. You got to you got to you got to write. You got to write your rhymes. You got to write. You got to write. You made everything about writing and you got to rap. You you. You see what you see where I'm going? But for the other girl, you said it's about Plex selling records. But with this other girl who was selling records, it's not about selling records. It's about writing your rhymes, writing your raps. You see, what's good for her may not be good for her. Like, it's, it's the goalpost keeps moving because it has to align with you. Because at the end of the day, you have to win. And that's okay. But I need for Nikki to be honest with us and, and with herself. She's always moving the goalpost. And we've seen that many times. Did anybody else pick up on that? Or it's just me? Okay, let's keep it going. All right. Let's also look at a couple of more tweets. Um, After the first one dropped, if that P-S- PSH, 
<laughs> so much as breathe wrong, I'm gonna empty the clip. If that P U S S Y A S S O deny one thing I say, I'm posting every freaking receipt known to me. Five, yes, you heard me. Did five extra songs. We've been waiting on you. Play. <laughs> Oh, you got five? You got five clips in the chamber? All for little Megan? Okay. Listen. <laughs> oh, you've been waiting on her. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm ready. I want to hear it. And I will react to it, baby. I will react to it. I'm living for this. Let's do this. Bigfoot, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think it comes out tonight. I don't know. Honestly, y'all, we might um do a reaction tonight. I don't know. Which I I think y'all would like that. But anyway, y'all, like, it's fire to me. It is definitely most most definitely fire to me. Um Okay. Uh What? Give me one second, y'all. So this this is the one thing that had everybody like, oh, Nikki is going there. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Give me one second. Let me save this. So, okay. Give me one second, because why is it not here? Why is it? Okay, there we go. Okay. So, baby, she made another rant, and Nicki Minaj did the unthinkable. Meg, uh, Nicki Minaj brought up Meg Thee Stallion's deceased mother. Now, when I tell y'all, as a person that has lost his mother, this kind of hit me in a way of like, ooh. But honestly, I kind of like, kind of thought to myself, I'm like, well, this is a rap battle. Nothing is off limits. Go for broke. Go low. Go super low. This is a rap battle. I mean... Yeah, there are limits to everything, but in a rap battle, everything goes, okay? There have been people talking about uh, babies. I mean, I, I remember um, the, the Nas and Jay-Z beef where I think um, Jay-Z said that he was going to nut on um, uh, Nas's uh, baby, uh, baby seat or something, baby seat or something. He was going to ejaculate on Nas's baby's seat or something. I don't know. It was weird. But <laughs> we have heard worse, okay? We have heard worse in the rat beef history, okay? Okay, like, we all know rat beef. Like, the Foxy and um Queen Latifah, okay? Jackie O and Kaya. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remy Ma and Little Kim. Like Gucci Mane and um uh Jeezy. Rap beef history. KRS one and uh LL Cool J. I think it was that. I think it was. I believe. I don't freaking know. But anyway. Let's get to this tweet and her talking about uh, Megan's um, deceased mom. So, <laughs> Nicki Minaj tweeted out, y'all want to talk, y'all want to bring up family members because of the Megan's law. She brought up Megan um, put um, put a shine the light on um, Nicki's husband, Kenneth, because um, you know he's a registered sex offender. Um, and you know, you know that whole thing. So yeah, so she brung that up. So she tweets, y'all want to bring up family members in line on your 
deceased mom lied to Gail, lied on and F your best friend's man. First of all, I want Nikki to stop worrying about what <laughs> I want you to stop worrying about what is going on between Meg's legs and who she's messing with. Cause girl, like, come on now. You did not like it when uh Remy did it to you. Why are you doing it to Meg? But anyway, okay, it's it's whatever. It's fear. It's love and war, child. Um, and F your best friend told me to drink and go to the clinic if I was pregnant. All because I wouldn't let your funky butt pour liquor down my throat. B I T C H thinks she's a bully cause she get a Rock Nation brunch every year. Be mad at party. He told your tea, but you taking shots at my family. Bahaha, get up on your good foot. Um, go platinum. Go apologize to your mother, nasty serpent. Repent. Got you. All right. And child, she here's the audio of her saying, Go conjure up your deceased mom. A bitch would have been like, oh, you know what? Just like, FYI, I fucked such and such, and I fucked this one, I fucked that. So, you know. But you let, you, you, you let everyone just be under the bus, be thrown under the bus. You let the baby be thrown under the bus, Tori, your best friend, your mom. You better go conjure up your mother and say and, and apologize. That you you that's disgusting. Somebody said her body gone as well. We ain't even gonna run down the list. We'd be here all night. However, remember, you guys chose to constantly make my family the focal point, right? And remember what I told you would happen every time? But I understand how you Begged, begged, begged. I did. I was trying so hard, like, I, not to, like, not to pay your dumb ass no mind, because I could tell you was thirsty. You was, and I don't know if you sucked my DJ dick or not, but you was his best friend, hitting him every day. Can, can I get on Queen Radio? Can I get on Queen Radio? I go on live. You begging my fans. Tell her, tell her to add me. Tell her to add me. You didn't, a real bitch would have been like, oh, you know what? Just FYI, I fucked such and such, and I fucked this one, I fucked that. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to watch the whole time because she literally said everything she said in the tweets, child. So we're not going to go too much. Okay, so let me um get off of this. Let me get off of this. Um, Let me get back to full screen. Okay. So. Child, let me say this. Nikki, I'm, I would, see, I would go in on you just off the fact that you're talking about somebody's deceased parent. I know how that feels. And also, no shade, Nikki, you also know how that feels. But just me listening to it, I honestly don't think that she meant it in a disrespectful way. I feel like she was... I feel like it was it was definitely disrespectful because you're going after Megan, but and we we are talking about context. In the context of where she's saying, "Go conjure up your deceased mom," because she feels that she has 
lied and she has um told untruths several times on people especially her mom now i don't know that to be true okay i don't know that to be true i don't i never met meg i never met her mother okay so and i don't even know if nikki knows her mother to be saying that but i just think in context i don't think she was saying it in a malicious or disrespectful way because i'm you know what i'm saying but and i would have to be hip i would have to kind of take that back in a way and 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 kind of um take that back or <laughs> be um what's the word uh contradict myself because on another live she she starts to sing uh conjure up your dad mama your dad mama conjure up your dad mama your dad mama she starts make she starts making it a song now she starts she's she's starting to play into it and it's now becoming disrespectful so i have to kind of um uh you know um uh take that back cuz cuz now it has become disrespectful so um with that being said um the whole thing let me just talk about the whole thing with the little juju and the beat not clearing in my opinion get over it nikki get over it and i understand that i, I so in 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 another tweet she says that she don't care because I think because let me go back to that tweet that I said I was gonna come back to, um let me go back to that, give me one second y'all let me go back to that, um let me go back to that tweet, let me go back to that, okay let me go back to that where is that tweet at. Okay, so this is about the ju the the um little juju on the beat situation. Let's get into that. So little juju on the beat is a producer of um Megan Thee Stallion. He has produced songs for her and um Beyonce. Um, he's at definitely on Twitter. Um, I think I got that receipt as well. Um, if y'all can look, uh, where is that at? Where is that at? Uh, where is that? Where is that tweet at? Sorry, y'all. Give me one second. Where is that tweet at? Where is that tweet? Oh, there it is. There we go. This is little Juju on the beat. This is his um. It's, this is his uh Twitter handle. Um, Grammy Award winning producers. You know, bomb score records. Yes, all that. Um. Yep, <laughs> you see how he's he's petty because he's been um, Little Juju on the beat hits number one on the rap and R&B hit producers thanks to Megan Thee Stallion. He <laughs> he put the uh, the gif. Um, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that's funny. Love that. Um, but yeah, so I think Little Juju on the beat or something. I think he's affiliated with Juicy J. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but um, definitely it's being speculated. And according to Nicki Minaj, it's, um, it's, it is not too far-fetched because she says, apparently we waiting on little Juju to clear that beat that I've had for six years, child. Juicy J said that's who's mainly produce so um now that's who we gotta go through hmm thanks you be the judge of what's happening yeah we know what's happening 
All right, and then she goes on. Oh, it goes, you see, see, uh, nah. Yup. <laughs> she goes on, oh, they have the same management. What a surprise. Their final answer is only if she has seven figures. God told me she he'd expose from the bottom to the top. I love it. Had had I told y'all, most she wouldn't have believed me. Now everything is getting said immediately. Um, honestly, Nikki Noche, I don't think he's trying to sabotage you. Um He's just standing on business. Um just like you have. You have done the same thing to Remy, like I just said. You told Nas not to clear the ether record when you was dealing with Nas, and he did what you said. He don't have no allegiance to Remy. So he was going to do that for you because he was, you know, canoodling with you, apparently. I don't know that to be true, but I'm just saying. So he has gotten money with Megan. Why would he clear something that you're clearly attacking the very person that he's doing business with and he's making money with that actually got him his first number one hit? I'm confused. What is not clicking here, Miss Minaj? She just did, she just pulled a U on you. That's it. Just get a new beat. Just get a new beat. Okay, because honestly, Nicki Minaj, you have signed, didn't you sign producers? Didn't you sign a person that can produce beats for you? Won't y'all go back into the lab? <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Won't you go back into the lab and get go back into the drawing board and, and go find some beats on my, in my Nene Leaks voice? Candy, let's go one of, go let, <laughs> Candy, let's go around Puerto Rico so we can drop some beats. Okay. Come on, go to Puerto Rico and drop some beats, baby. Do what you got to do, because I can't wait for um, uh, Bigfoot. I can't wait. But honestly, y'all, it is a whole lot, because, baby, this is the most sickening rap beat ever, because not only are they going at it, baby, the TikTokers have some opinions. Let's get into some of these TikTokers that are pulling their putting their little two cents in on this beef. Cause baby, I have been cackling, honey. I have been cackling. I have been cackling. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. <laughs> baby. Let's get into that. Give me one second. Okay. Hold on. Ooh. There we go. So this one right here, this mofo read Nikki down. This TikTok, this TikToker is one for the books. Let's get into it. Snakes hiss before. Give me one second. Ooh, this was everything. Let's get into it, y'all. Snakes hiss before they attack. So, Miss Chun Li, I suggest you gorilla glue down that Chinese bang, super glue them bamboo earrings into your ear, and get ready because that was simply just a fucking warning. Could you imagine being the parents of Megan Kanka and seeing a law that you created in honor of your daughter trending simply because another woman doesn't want another woman to exist in the same space as her? Imagine seeing a law that you created trending because someone intentionally married the same type of person that that law was against. In the past 24 hours, that one singular Megan's Law Bar from a three-minute song has made that lady spaz on Instagram Live, Twitter Spaces, Facebook Messenger, Periscope, Skype, and Uvu. But she has yet to make it over to a fucking booth. But you're the queen of rap, though, right? Get in the fucking booth and fight back, Chun-Li. During her many drug-induced rants, she has implied and insinuated a bunch of shit to distract us from the fact that she has not booked a studio session. 
He has brought up Megan's album and single sales and said that her shit is always flopping. Even though survey says just a few years ago, you were the same woman that said album sales and streams did not matter. But now since your fans have gotten a 50 cent raise down at the Piggy Wiggly and are able to actually buy your shit, streams and sales matter. Which one is it? She also implied that she spoke directly to Kelsey. And even though Kelsey wide mouth ass did not get on this internet and defend herself when they were saying that she's the one that pulled the trigger, she made sure she got on here and let us know that she did not speak to you, Otis. But wait, there's more. Miss Pills and Potions also said that Megan calls Cardi a dirty Mexican. Even though survey says once again, but wait, there's more. Miss Pills and Potions also said that Megan calls Cardi a dirty Mexican. Even though survey says once again, that's what you and your weird wicked Barbies refer to Cardi as. And your like tweets are proof of that. Next on the fucking list, she implied that during the shooting of the Hot Girl Summer music video, Megan forced her to drink and even implied that she should go to the clinic and get rid of her baby after she told her that she might be pregnant. And to be honest, that advice should have been fucking taken because who the fuck purposely has a baby by a sex offender? But again, survey says that from all the footage that we've seen from that live, you were the one forcing her to drink those open can of Sprites that have sat on the counter too long that you want to call a Moscato. He even decided to go low and bring up Megan's dead mother and say that Megan lied on her mother's name about being shot. Even though survey says once a fuck again, less than six hours ago, you were the same woman hooping and hollering on live about how she only had one good foot. So why would she only have one good foot? I ask you. Did she lie about getting shot or did she actually get shot? Which one is it? And bringing up her dead mother as if your father wasn't just glued to the asphalt down in Long Island not too long ago, it's absolutely insane. Imagine doing all of this because someone simply informed the general public that you have to alert authorities every time you move. That's the fucking fact. What she said was not a lie. That's actually your real life. That's the life that you chose for yourself. But the reason why that Megan's law bar hit you so hard is because it can apply to many men in your life. Megan has dropped a three minute song in a music video and has not said not one single thing to you. But you have come up with 3000 think pieces and went through eight white bricks in the last 24 hours. But you have yet to get your ass in the motherfucking booth. Put that shit on wax or leave it on the fucking playground. And you of all people should be very familiar with playgrounds seeing as though you're the only one in your family able to visit them. Baby, the way mother read. Ooh, I couldn't have said it better. My dad was. <laughs> I'm gagging. <laughs> Ooh, shout out to her. Shout out to her. I couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Can't you see? <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Child, even Wendy Williams told you. Let's Nikki. get into it. Hold on. <laughs> even Nikki, <laughs> even Wendy Williams told you, sis. Nikki, that's going to be my first story tomorrow, and I'm going to lead with this. You should have never married him. Because cause now you've ruined everything about what your brand could be again. You're never going to stand a chance when you're with a man who pulls a knife at rape point, you know, and, you, you ne and you're never going to stand a, ch a molester, a, a, sec a registered sex offender who wasn't even ready. You're never going to stand a chance with John Q. Public because there's only one thing worse than touching children and pulling knives, and that's murder. And by the way, he did go to jail for manslaughter. Oh, I think I just did the story. Nope. Nikki, 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 Nikki. And also, I want to I wanna make a point to say this Megan's Law, no shade. And I I understand about the whole, and I did my research. It's about um this this little white girl, Megan, who were who was sexually assaulted in um unalive by a neighbor. Um, and they passed, you know, they went to and passed the law. It's so crazy how um, it takes a little white girl to um, 
be sexually assaulted and unalive for a law to be passed in passed through several states. It's so crazy because I feel like, um, what about all the black girls that has died and was sexually assaulted and, you know, unalive before this girl? I'm just, I, I, I'm just saying, you know, shout out to Megan for keeping us on game because we didn't, I didn't know about this law. Um, so, but I, I, it just, I just find it so crazy how it just took a little white girl on the live, um, you know, having a traumatic situation happen to her for a law to be passed because a, 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 a little black girl, it will fall on deaf ears. I mean, clock that T, clock it, clock it. Mm. But anyway, um, I'm not trying to be here all along, child. We're listen. <laughs> listen, my end of statements are. I'm ready for it. Bring it on. I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more. Okay. Go deep. Go low as you can. But Nikki, don't be mad when she brings up your father. She brings up your brother. She brings up anything that has to do with you in the past years. And there's a lot that Megan could say about you, babe. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, you got the tea on her. You got the receipts on her. Put it in the music. Put it in your videos. I want to see. I'm 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 thoroughly entertained. I am thoroughly entertained by it all. I'm ready. Megan. Let's get Megan over. Megan. Nikki. I'm ready. Give us the rap battle of 2024. Y'all already starting off the year amazing. Let's get it crunk, okay? Cheers to the girls' weekend. Cheers, bitch. Yes, I'm ready for it. I can't wait. Shout out to both of these girls, these rap, these raptress. Shout out to them. They're both successful in their own right. I'm ready for. I'm ready for it all. Go low or go home. Okay. Anyway, you guys, that is done. That is all for this review. Okay. Now, I was going to go into something with Moniz because Moniz said something about how um they should sue Megan because she brought up the whole um, Megan's law. Um, Moniz, shut your mouth and go to therapy, okay? You got more pressing matters, sis. But anyway, I ain't want to bring up that because I feel like it's irrelevant. Um, but anyway, y'all, please like, comment, and subscribe to Aaron Wilds Out TV. Please do not forget to click that notification bell, that notification bell to be notified whenever I go live. And yes, y'all, follow all of my social medias in the description below, okay? Yes, ma'am. Let's TTT out, honey. Later, guys.